Welcome back to Ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. And let me turn my computer down just a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's see what's up. Uh, Lynn's sitting there. Um, uh, you you got to talk to Lynn. Oh, right, 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 right. right. Completely forgot because we were watching Dragon Ball. And I'm using that as my excuse. <laughs> you are here. I knew it. I just had that feeling. Shame on you for stepping foot stepping foot into a girl's head un uninvited. Wait a minute. Don't give me that a ghost doesn't have feet bit. It's just a figure of speech. Why did I say Hey, I, did I say Did anything? I say anything? There! That tone! It's that tone of yours that makes me mad. So, did you have something particular you wanted to say to me? I just thought I'd share some information with you. I'm investigating a case right now, a murder case, and I'm doing it alone. A murder case all by yourself. Yes, well, that's because the case was closed a long time ago. The culprit is already behind bars forgotten by the world. So why are you looking into it then? Because I think the person's innocent, that's why! There's something strange behind the case, some big mystery. I firmly believe that... that... so anyway, I finally have my memory back. I'm not at liberty to tell you about the case. But if there's anything else you want to know, I'll try to answer what I can. Lynn is my only lead. I WOULD like to ask her a few things. About the one who shot me. You have your life and your memory back now. So let me ask you, who shot me tonight? Yeah, I thought you might be that might be the first thing you, on your mind. What else would it be? There's a good chance I was shot while I was with you, after all. I'm afraid my memory just isn't clear on that part. Not clear? I met you tonight, and then you fell down right in front of me. I think I remember seeing that part. I'm pretty sure you were shot, maybe from somewhere far away. So, you didn't see the culprit. I'm sorry, I wish I could help, be of more help, but I know I wasn't the one who shot you. Your colleagues seem to think you're a suspect, though. I want the information you had for me, so why would I shoot you before I got it? Information, huh? I wonder what information I had on her. About the girl with the bow. By the way, I see you have a little roommate. Camilla? How do you know about her? There was a tiny incident at your apartment a little while ago. An incident? What kind of incident? What happened? Is Camilla alright? She's fine, thanks to her loyal friend Missile. Although, I did have a little trouble bringing him back to life. Oh my! What in the world is going on? Why would anybody want to hurt Camilla and Missile? You're being targeted by a certain organization. What? Yes, my good man. <laughs> I saw them, the people who were calling you their target. So I'm a suspect and a target? Could this night possibly get any worse? It does sound pretty rough, and you sure... Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Huh? You know what they say, when it rains it pours. Isn't it time you admitted you need me, need my powers? I'm sorry, I can't cooperate with you. Yes, you saved my life tonight. I'm completely grateful for that. But as a detective, I still can't trust you. That's too bad. About the information? So, I had some important information that you wanted, huh? That's right, you called the station yesterday, and you asked to talk to me. You told me that you had an important lead on the case I was working on. Important lead, eh? You said you wanted to meet me and talk to me directly tonight at the junkyard. And you fell for it, even given how fishy it sounds? You're the last person I want to hear that from, you know. But I just couldn't let it go, no matter how shady it seems. That's because I'm running out of time. Hey, that's right, you said something was going down tonight. Does that something have to do with the case you're working on? I'm sorry, but I can't talk about it. Oh boy, but I guess I understand. Back. And we're just waiting around, I guess. So, what are you going to do? Run, I guess. They'll catch me again if I don't get out of here. And I have to get to the restaurant. I'm worried about Camilla. Oh, yeah. What was it? The chicken kitchen on Dead End Drive, right? 
What about you, Sissel? What are you going to do? I don't know, to tell you the truth. You're my only lead if you leave. I just realized, you and I are in the same boat. We're both looking for answers tonight, and neither one of us has anybody to help us. That's about, that about sums it up. Hey, even if you can't cooperate with me, how about if we just agree to use each other? That's not a bad idea, you're on. I'm sorry, girl. I'm just using you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but can I ask you to do a favor for me? First, what's that? I need you to sneak into a certain place for me. A prison, to be exact. Prison? That's the place I was calling from the office upstairs. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Work schedule for a prisoner. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on a small blackboard in in his cell. So just go check out a certain prisoner's blackboard. Huh? Okay. His prisoner number is D99. If you do that for me, I'll cooperate with you. Okay, you're on. Why not make it DS99? <laughs> Okay, see you later. See ya. But don't die again if you can help it. She's back at the junkyard. See you later, Ray. <laughs> dancey, dancey, dancey. I'm doing a thrust. It looks like I hold the key to the case Lynn is investigating. And she holds the key to solving the mystery of me. So we've started up a strange relationship of cooperation. Co-op mode! Lynn gave me an assignment. My task is to go check out tomorrow's work schedule for prisoner D99. I'd better get to the prison. Well, looks like I'd better get going. Uh, your ghost tricks will be enough. <laughs> uh, save, yes. Continue playing, yes. We're moving into Chapter 6! Yay! Lost Memories of Self, a Forgotten Murder Case. A dead guy and a yard coming out of tile. A dead guy and a detective joined forces to find out the truth behind them both. The detective assigned the dead guy a task to sneak into the prison and find out a certain prisoner's schedule for tomorrow. What should I care? I don't have a schedule for tomorrow. That's how I'm feeling about it at the moment. Trick! Okay, we gotta get to a phone. Right, the phone, which is... Oh, okay, this is what this thing is for. It's supposed to take me over to the fan. So you can get up there to get to the phone. And the phone is right. Um, actually, I'm curious what these are. Before we leave, I'm curious what these guys yes. are up to. It's all over. It's all over for me. Lynn, sweet, cute Lynn, who shines as bright as the sun, ran away on me. Ran away on me, not ran away. <laughs> and then those detectives, matching bookends blue and green, yelled at me. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Forget to... Forget about all that. Now listen to me, kid. Yes, sir. You're bright as the sun, Lynn. Probably doesn't even know you exist. <gasps> and those detectives will probably yell at you your whole life. Coo, coo, coo. Never mind fretting about every little setback. Enjoy your life. Get what you can out of it. Mister, would you mind just leaving me alone? Eh, uh, that's kind of sad. Leave him alone! We're out of here. Trick. We need to go to the prison that we were at earlier. Uh, yeah. uniform... Uniform man's office. Yep, that's the prison. Off we go! Whee! Excellent! Into the phone! Uh, okay, so... I was the guy on the left, and you were the guy... Okay, so that's you. I can't even remember the voice I did for this guy. I have no idea. So, how are the preparations coming along? 
I think they're taking care of them right now. Yeah, man, I'm not looking forward to this. That kind of surprise is me, coming from you. I didn't know you thought about such things. By the way, that was me being sarcastic, just in case you didn't catch that. Two more hours. And then it's time. I guess we should just get back to work. Yeah, I guess you're right. The, the atmosphere sure seems tense. I guess I'll just get back to my work as well. I want you to go find out a certain prisoner's work schedule for tomorrow. Yes, the prisoners are given different job details every day. Each prisoner's schedule for the next day is written on the small blackboard in his cell. His pr the pr prisoner number is D99! All right, alrighty then. How do I get to these cells? I better try to get some information here first. Trick time! Are they gonna talk at all? Uh, I guess not. Alright, I gotta do something. First, uh, why don't we send this page wafting through the air? Hey, Bailey, that was your guy. Oh. Huh. Try pinning up your memos a little better next time. Let me see. This thing, Inspection Prisoner C74. Oh, it's almost time for that. I'd better, I'd better prepare. Prisoner C74, eh? What did that big whale do anyway? You, d you don't know about the Metro Police Department siege case? Metro what? C-74 barricaded himself into the Metro Police Department and took siege of the place. He even pointed a huge flamethrower at the Chief Commissioner. Why the heck did he do that? Do all that? That's what the detectives who surrounded him asked too. What are, you, what are your demands, they asked. And? The guy looked confused, thought about it for a while, and said, Bring me five servings of curry and rice on the double. What? Curry and rice? That's it? Unfortunately, no. After he was done eating, he torched the commissioner's office with the flamethrower. Torched it good. Important documents and the commissioner's mustache were destroyed by the flames. What the heck did he do all that for? Because the curry was too spicy, he said. Huh? It was too spicy, and I just lost it, he said. Seriously? The, ca the case sent shockwaves throughout the country. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. How did a huge, armored guy make it all the way into the commissioner's office alone? Armed guy, not armored. It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-74 himself? Maybe they did, but they haven't released anything about it. Apparently, it's all a matter of national secrecy. Huh. <laughs> You quit throwing my important duty uh, memos away! Well, that got us some answers. And they're not talking, so let's try to get some more answers. You can move through the monitors. Yes, I can. Um, well, one monitor anyway. Oh. Let's do this. Wavy, wavy. Hey, Bailey. And? What's the matter? You can't even pin up a memo properly? Let me see. Take this thing. Uh, this thing. Take prisoner C38 to the telephone room. Yes, he just made a request to use the phone a little while ago. 
You already told me that earlier. C38, eh? What did that punk do, anyway? You never heard the story about the secret rendezvous case? Secret who what? C38 was a singer in a band. His group was playing a concert that was being broadcast all over the country live. And right in the middle of their encore, there was a huge incident. A huge incident? What, what was it, a murder or something? In a way, it was even worse than a murder because... It was worse than dead, Jim! <laughs> because it had to do with national secrets. Huh? National secrets? A rock band? I'm lost. The song they were doing was called Secret Rendezvous. But the lyrics that C-38 was singing were completely different from usual. So, how is that a huge incident? Because the new lyrics exposed all the nation's dark, seamy secrets. Budget misappropriations, foreign economic strategies, illicit dealings, and every everything. He was caught red-handed in the act of leaking national secrets. Like my text was caught red letters. <laughs> Seriously? The case sent shockwaves through the country. He say, always finishes by saying that. But it doesn't make any sense in the first place. And he always says that! How would a rock singer know any top secret information? It's a complete mystery. What? Why don't they just ask C-38 himself? Maybe they did, but they uh, had, had <laughs> the same stuff again. Apparently it's all a matter of national secrecy. And he says hmph again. <laughs> ah! Would you quit throwing my important duty memos away? Looks like he still has it in his hand. Oh. Oh. Oh, he just put up another one. Uh, but we'll... But if you want to see what that memo says, you'll have to join us next time for more... Splattergy Guides Ghost Trick Action.